y'all. Welcome to fourth grade, chapter 12, lesson six. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so this lesson, we actually pull out our King Henry. We do King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk, which helps us to remember the order of these guys. And the only thing that you need to remember is it usually is for units. That's either liters, grams, or meters. Okay. Um, so you'll see what we do in just a second. So we're going a number two from eight centimeters to millimeters. So centi to milli, we move our decimal one time to the right. Okay. Which means I would move our decimal, which would normally be here, and we would move it one time, giving us eighty. Okay, five meters to decimeters. So meters is under unit to decimeters. We're still gonna move it one time to the right. Okay, so we're gonna go from five to 50. We're moving it one time to the right. Okay, you guys, well, we'll do number four together. So whatever it is, our first number is gonna be nine, okay? Now we're going from meters to millimeters. Meters is here, millimeters is here. So we are moving it one, two, three times to the right. So one, two, three, we would fill those in with zeros. Okay? You guys go ahead and do number five. You totally can. Um, and again, we're just gonna convert these into where they are the same units. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so eight meters, two centimeters. Remember, we always want to start with the bigger unit. Meters is bigger than centimeters, okay? So eight meters, and we're going to centimeters. Meters is under unit to centi. So one, two spaces, that would add one, two zeros. So 800 centimeters or 80 centimeters, that's bigger, okay? Decimeters to centimeters, deci. Centi. We're going to move it one time, which adds on one zero. So 30 and 30 equal. Okay. You guys do eight and nine. Okay. All right. So okay. So describe the length in meters. Okay. So we're moving from centimeters to meters, okay? So we currently, just a second, guys, let me find my scrap paper. Okay, so we currently have 43 with the decimals right here, okay? Now, they want us to go from centimeters to meters, okay? So we're going to go back one, two places to go to the meters one, two places, that's 0. 0.43, or 43 hundredths, because that three is in the hundredths spot of a meter, okay? Not so bad once you get used to it, guys, okay? All right, six decimeters, now we have to go from decimeters to meters, okay? So, six, where our decimal's right there, decimeters to meters. Okay, we're just going to move one time to the left. So 0.6. Okay, or six, and that six is in the tenth spot. Okay. All right, you guys try 12 and 13. We're going to go ahead down and do number 14. It says a flagpole is four meters tall. How many centimeters? So four, where our decimal would be right there. And we're going from meters to centimeters. So we're adding one, two zeros. 400 centimeters. Oops, sorry, y'all. I zoomed in so you could see it. No, you can't. Okay. All right. A new building is 25 meters tall. How many decimeters? 25, we would normally have our decimal right there. We're going from meters to decimeters. We're going to add on one zero, okay? Okay. 
Okay. All right, y'all. We're going to go around to the back. I'm going to zoom back out some. Okay, we're going to go around to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to do the spiral review. It says Bruce reads for three quarters of an hour each night. How long will he read in four nights? Well, three quarters of an hour times four nights. And I want to put that four over a one so that I have a fraction. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce, which means the top is three and the bottom is one. So three hours. Here we go. Okay. Mark jogged a sixth of a mile or six tenths of a mile. Caroline jogged 49 hundredths of a mile. Write an inequality to compare the distances they jogged. Well, we have 0 0.6 and we have 0 0.49. And you will notice that a six is bigger than a four, which means, there we go. Okay. All right. How many lawns were mowed? Well, all we have to do is count the X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven lawns. What is the difference between the greatest amount and the least amount of gasoline used to mow? Okay, well, the greatest amount was 5 eighths, and the least amount was 1 eighth. And how you find the difference is you subtract. Well, the denominator stays the same, and 5 minus 1 is 4. So 4 eighths gallon. All right, guys, great job on 12.6. Come on back for 12.7.